All right, so to install the Emoji One, you're gonna need to download ES File Explorer. Once you download ES File Explorer, make sure you turn on your Root Explorer. You have to have Root for this. So you turn on the Root Explorer. You have to mount, read and write, read and write on all of them. And you press OK. Now you'll go to the Reddit post where I put, where I uh, have the link for the TTF file. So you click on it. Uh, you'll download it. Once it downloads, it's going to be in your download folder. Uh, I already put it on my uh, on the root of my SD card. So just click on it. Open up with ES Zip Viewer. You'll extract it to I'd say your root. It's up to you wherever you want. Now you're going to have to rename it. We'll rename it. No to color. Emoji. So now it's renamed. So now we're just gonna um, move it to. Uh, I'll show you. You have to click here. Then you go to System, Fonts. Just press OK. It's gonna ask you if you want to overwrite. Apply to all. Overwrite. Okay, so it's there now. So we're gonna go there. We're gonna go to device. We're gonna go to system fonts. Now you're gonna click on the no to color emoji. You're gonna have to go to its properties. Then we're gonna have to change its permissions and change them to uh, read, write, read, read. Like that, owner root, group root, you should be set. Now you'll just have to uh, reboot your phone and it should uh, have the new emojis. So I'll show you here. You see them all with all the different skin tones, color. So now um, th this is a tricky part uh, for the skin tones. I know that uh, a lot of keyboards aren't having it unless you're on 6.01, I believe. But uh, Google Keyboard, even on 5.1.1, which I have right now, which is on the OnePlus 2, you're able to see all the emojis. The only thing is, though, that I had to create some personal dictionary shortcuts for the skin tones. So as you see, I have to type in skin Two, and then I'm able to change the skin so it's a bit of a hassle uh, to do so but that's the only way you get to change the skin tones on them um, I'll show you um, so let's say you want to change the skin tone it it's a little bit of a hassle. I'll show you how to do that. So we'll go to I download user dictionary plus and I did it from there. So what I did is uh, manage user dictionary for all languages and then uh, I added them through this website. So we'll go to um, I think it's called Emojipedia. Yeah, Emojipedia.org slash modifiers. And as you see, you're going to have to click each one by one. You're going to have to hold it down, copy. You're going to have to go to the user dictionary. You're going to have to add it. And then you'll make the shortcut for which the skin tone. So, like I said, skin one, skin two. You then you add it and you do that with each of the different skin tones that are on the so there's five five different ones so you're gonna have to do it with each of them click on it copy paste over um, and yeah when once you're typing you can type in skin one see you'll see the so after each emoji that has a skin to it you'll be able to do it so let's say that one skin two 
it'll change the skin color a bit. So we have that. Um, for the Google keyboard that I'm using, it's a modded version. You're going to have to use Titanium Backup, backup to uninstall your old uh, Google keyboard. You're going to have to reboot your phone, and then you'll be able to install this modded Google keyboard with all the different uh, new emojis on there. So I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, ask me on Reddit.